all of our ancestors were not eating all the time. We weren't necessarily prioritizing three meals a day. I think it's something that can be therapeutic. I started intermittent fasting pretty seriously in 2018. I guess that's seven years ago now. And it is the most powerful way for me to influence my inflammation. People don't understand and recognize that a lot of people are walking around feeling horrible because of inflammation. And so do you have, what, an eight-hour eating window? My approach to intermittent fasting, I eat in an eight-hour window, but I listen to my body. I'm definitely encourage people to listen to their body. But at about 16 hours, our body stops working on dealing with food all the time and it allows it to do its deep clean and trigger autophagy to clean out all the precancer cells, all that inflammatory load that's backed up over time. And it can be extremely beneficial in our long-term health. It's a potent and powerful way to specifically influence our insulin sensitivity our leptin sensitivity, the things that are over and over compromised in the population of people that struggle with thyroid conditions.